So I got a lot of good feedback after posting my uh, Lucid runway model. Um, a lot of folks were sort of digging their, their feet into how Lucid works and had questions about, can I do this? Can I do that? How do I use it myself? Um, so well, I'll probably do more tutorials uh, in the next couple weeks. Um, I just wanted to quickly highlight that uh, Lucid has a really great GitHub repo um, and a bunch of other things that are all connected to Lucid. So um, we'll quickly walk through uh, some of the stuff here and then um, talk a little bit about what Lucid is trying to do. Um, before that, just wanted to give a thank you to uh, four new members of my channel, uh, Yohanatan, um, Alex, Brian, and Ellie. Um, I hope I pronounced your names right. If I didn't, uh, shoot me a DM and I will rectify that next time. Um, but again, really thankful for all the members of my YouTube channel. Uh, it helps me produce these videos, so I really appreciate it. Um, and hopefully you learned something too. Uh, have had more activity in our um, YouTube members only Slack channel recently, which I'm hoping to build up um, over the next couple months. So you do get some cool benefits of being a member. Uh, okay, so back to Lucid. So first things first, um, there is this really great GitHub repo called uh, TensorFlow Lucid. Um, I highly, highly recommend checking it out. I'll post the link to it in the video description. Um, it contains a lot of stuff. Uh, like you could probably spend a year just digging through this and find some really cool things. So first things first, there are a list of notebooks. Um, there's probably eight to 10 notebooks doing various things that are all pretty cool and worth playing with. And it's all in Colab, so it's pretty easy to get set up. Um, I'll talk a little bit about some of the pitfalls of these notebooks, but um, yeah, definitely worth checking out. Uh, second, um, Lucid is built around a whole bunch of uh, sort of articles that were on the Distill website. Um, so Distill, if you haven't seen it, is a website from, I think, a bunch of Google folks. Um, I think Google Brain, Google Research, maybe OpenAI. Um, and Distill is sort of the, the idea here is, um, most machine learning knowledge is packaged up in like PDFs on archive.org. Uh, and that is not always the best way to experience or learn or even read about machine learning and what we're understanding. So distill is the idea of like bringing these things onto web pages, allowing for interactive, um, you know, visualizations and being able to actually play with models sort of like live on a website and being able to understand, uh, how machine learning works in a more interactive format. Uh, so it's very cool. I definitely recommend checking it out. Um, one thing to note is I actually just saw a video, which I'll link to um, from one of the designers of the still, uh, Shan Carter, and he talks a lot about how, you know, their whole idea is just we want to make want to make this stuff easier to understand for folks. So um, definitely recommend checking it out. And Distill is a pretty cool website. Uh, they don't post stuff particularly often. It's pretty much like once a month, um, but there are some really really cool uh, materials in there, um, and I think their feature visualization article. Uh, it's actually probably multiple articles, but there's a lot of really, really cool stuff. Um, like this visualiz visualization will help you understand how Lucid actually works probably better than anything I could explain, right? It starts with noise and then just like Deep Dream, it sort of goes through an iterative cycle until it generates um, channel images that better represent what, she's, what each of these neurons are. So just really, really cool. Um, definitely recommend reading these articles because when you read these articles, your notebooks will make a lot more sense as well. Uh, so they also have a community that still has a Slack channel. Um, so if you need yet another Slack channel to join, um, besides mine and the 20 others that are out there, um, on machine learning and generative art and other things, um, they have one, it's not super active. So it's not like you'll be getting blown up with messages, but, um, there are some really good questions and there's some really smart people in there. So I definitely recommend checking that out. Uh, there is other information around, you know, if you want to submit code, uh, PRs or other things. Um, and there is, I think, what we'll be really interested in, and maybe some I'll play with this weekend, is a way to visualize your own model. Um, so uh, you can bring your own models into Lucid and utilize their tools. Um, so maybe I'll try to bring in a StyleGAM model this weekend and sort of see how that goes. Um, they do sort of say it's a little bit of a hit or miss um, activity to get to work, but we'll see how it goes. And maybe I'll record a tutorial on how to do that. Um, but yeah, this is a, a really great, really great repo, and I highly recommend it. Um, one thing to know about the notebooks is so. Lucid, I think, started about 2017, which means some of these notebooks are a little out of date just in terms of code compatibility. So you will want to make sure that you're using TensorFlow 1 with all this. Um, this little code snippet will make sure you're using TensorFlow 1, but not all the notebooks contain it by default, so make sure you add it. Um, it can be a bit of a challenge. Uh, and maybe I'll record some videos and just like walk through each of these notebooks to just sort of show people how to use them. Um, that might be a good use of my time and maybe help some folks. Um, so. Uh, what else do we need to know about Lucid? Okay, so Lucid, I mean, just as a whole, like the idea behind Lucid is um, 
what's going on inside of our notebooks or what's going inside of our, our models, right? Um, for a long time, we heard that oh, machine learning models are black boxes and you can't trust them because they're a black box. And while there's some truth to that, I think many machine learning models, especially in non-convolutional neural networks are definitely still a little bit of black boxes. Um, we're learning more and more every day, and I think that that's helping us understand exactly what's going on within machine learning models, and uh, especially within CNNs. Like, there's been a ton of effort over the past, you know, three to five years um, in convolutional neural nets and, and understanding them better. And I think uh, Lucid is one of those great projects that really highlights it. Um, so Lucid allows you to highlight individual uh, channels or neurons or layers inside of a network and sort of excite them to the point of where they sort of tell you what that channel or neuron or layer is looking for or, or generating. Um, so here's a really quick example of some of the, the channels that I think you'll see generated uh, using, this is probably Inception. Um, you know, so here's like a flower channel. Here is probably like a text label channel. Um, I don't know what this would be, maybe uh, early bridge detection. This one is clearly like a, some sort of like weird, like computer GUI uh, that it looks for. So um, Lucid's job is just to sort of start to break each of these channels and layers into like interpretable, uh, which is or like more clarified uh, understanding of what's going on. So it's really cool. You can use this with Inception, with ResNet. I think it supports something like 10 different models out of the box. And then there's a way to convert your own models, which maybe we'll look at in a future video. Um, you know, what I think is really great about this is like, this is an ongoing project. Um, and the real truth of it is like, well, this is cool in and of itself, right? Like generating these images are pretty interesting. It really goes to help you understand like various parts of like image generation. So um, I think the predecessor to Lucid in some ways is Deep Dream, right? Deep Dream is uh, sort of similar in that you input a individual image into uh, a network and then you excite these channels or layers or neurons and get them to like sort of over index that image toward flowers or other other shapes and textures um so you know you're going to go through the lucid network and go through some of the the tools that are available to you and it'll help you understand how deep dream works a lot better and even things like style transfer are based on the idea that you can pull out individual layers from a network and take the textures of those layers and apply them then to images right so that's essentially how style and content works like style is like you know maybe maybe pulling out a middle layer um, that is really focused on, uh, you know, a texture or a paint style and then being apply it to, I believe, a higher layer in, uh, in a content image. Um, so you're really mixing and matching layers just like you might within Lucid. So uh, it's really, really worthwhile to check these tools out and just sort of see what's available to you. Um, so, yeah, I'll probably record some additional uh, videos on using Lucid. Um, but if you have additional questions or you're interested in playing with stuff or you've made something cool, please feel free to share it with me. Um, the Slack channel is growing every day, and I'm really excited to see lots of great questions in there. I wish I had more time to be able to answer everyone's questions, but I'm going to do what I can um, as they come in. So uh, definitely take a look. Um, and yeah, let me know if you have questions about Lucid, and I hope you get a chance to play with it soon. Um, so until next time, I'll see you. Thanks.